I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird, and there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You. You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. <sighs> I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... my enemy. Your... enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was... a long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? Sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I'm scared. Juno! Uh, did something happen? Yukari? What's the matter? Well, I realize it's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh god, I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait, is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Straga? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? Ryoji kun Wait, what are you doing here? I guess. What is going on? It's all my fault. But you did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us. Who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the Union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What?! The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. His maternal being... what is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igus took me down. And I return the favor. I guess? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely. So out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him. And by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. But... how...? And when his persona awakened, the Twelve Shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? Who the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's... Oh, my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoshi-kun! 
He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> it looks like we're all here. Are you okay, ryoji kun yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? What? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? Nick Schmix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? Uh, more like, it's not possible. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now... I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him, and because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now, but 
you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the dark hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives, and by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Yuji kun If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. I don't want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Hey! Ryoji, wait! Stop, Jinbei-kun! I felt Ryoji-kun's presence vanish just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryoji-kun... I guess he'll be back.